Okay, Miss Rainbow's Classroom, pound 12. <clears throat> so much planning to do. I gotta plan small group, I gotta make copies. Hello, this is Miss Rainbow. Hello, hi, this is Roxy, the school counselor. I know it's your prep, but I just wanted to call and make this really quick. Thank you, is everything okay? Yes, I just wanted to pick up Raquel from class at 1.15 p.m. today, if that works for you. Okay, yeah, that works. Perfect. So I was on Raquel's online profile and I don't see any parent or guardian listed except Raquel's mom. I'm a little late to this since I just got involved because of the truancy letter, but was there anyone else in Raquel's life that I should know about? No, it is just Raquel and her mom. I know younger sibling has another parent, but yeah, it's just Raquel's mom. Okay, good to know. And how is she doing in your class? Um, overall, she's doing okay. I have noticed that she's been struggling a little bit in math. Okay, and math is in the morning when she's coming in late, correct? Part of it, we do have special in the morning, so we do a little bit of math beforehand, and then we come back and do the rest of our math after special. So she is missing about 15 to 20 minutes of that in the morning. So, oh my goodness, it is raining outside. Um, so I did speak to Raquel. She does like coming to school. She doesn't like showing up late. I don't think anybody likes walking into a room full of people, everybody looking at them. Um, but she also does really enjoy your class. Aw, that's great to hear. Okay, before I let you go, was there any other concerns for Raquel that I should know about? No, she hasn't said anything to me. I know it was Raquel and just her mom for a long time before younger sibling came along, so Raquel's mom, so that's probably why she's a little overprotective of Raquel at times. Okay, that makes sense. I am working on some things with Raquel at the moment, but I am hoping to get a hold of her mom to work on time management in the morning so we can get Raquel to school or look into the bus transportation since that is open and a reasonable option. Um, I'm just wondering why mom's so against bus transportation, but yeah, that is my goal at the moment, else the school resource officer will be sent to the house. I think that would be wonderful for her. I definitely think missing school has brought on some challenges and I hope that we can continue the year and her to be here consistently. Agreed. Our goal is to work with mom to get Raquel to school. Overall goal, so she doesn't keep missing school. <laughs> Susan, Susan, <laughs> I took a picture of me and my shawl that my son got for me. Would you mind showing me how to send it to him? Yeah, are you going to send him this picture? Why, yes, hon. Why, what's wrong with it? <clears throat> Nothing, Helen. Oh, I love thank it. thank you. <laughs> All right, Helen. There you go. I sent it for you. Thank you, Susan. <clears throat> this is Helen. Good morning, Helen. This is Police Resource Officer Chance. How are you today? As I always say, I woke up breathing and alive. <laughs> But I did have a bad hair day. But how are you, hon? To be honest, I've seen better days, but sorry to hear about your bad hair day. My fiance and I just had a baby. Um, very healthy. We're very happy that baby's healthy and fine. <clears throat> but we're looking for a family home, you know, to start our family. And everything is extremely expensive. Interest rates are through the roof. We could barely afford groceries. So I've seen better days. Mm-hmm. These are tough times for everyone, but I'm going to share something with you. A child will grow up remembering the love and safety they felt in their family and not the size of their home. You remember that. You're right, Helen. You always know what to say. <laughs> Anyways, I was just calling to give an update. So I did show up to Rachel's mother's home. It does turn out that they don't live there. It is a younger couple who live there. They are renting. I did get this suspicion that the younger male knew something, but he both denied knowing Rachel or her mother. Nothing shocks me with this story anymore, hun. <laughs> and also the student's name is pronounced Raquel. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it must be written incorrectly in my report because it says Rachel's. But anyways, um, so I did write out the report, but I just wanted to call to let you know firsthand. Well, thank you for calling and spending time talking to this old gal. You enjoy your new baby, hun. <laughs> oh, my son texts back. Nice. <laughs> Carrying that boy for nine months and his response is nice. <laughs> his father would roll over in his grave. <clears throat> At the bottom 
jeans. Oops, with the bird. <clears throat> Hello, this is Roxy, the school counselor. Hey, Roxy, this is Chavis. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm good. Just busy. Um, I did get some news, though, regarding Raquel's mother and the resource officer visit. Okay, great. I have been also patiently waiting, and I still have not heard anything back. Well, it seems that we are all just still waiting. Why? What's going on? So get this. The resource officer shows up, and it turns out Raquel does not even live at that address. That's odd. Um, maybe they moved and haven't updated their address yet. I mean, possibly, but in the report it said the couple that lives there had been renting for a while. That's what they told the resource officer. Huh. Okay. Well, next step for me is to call off my cell phone since mom will not know. It's a school number. Yeah, at this point, that may be your only option. If you do hear back from mom, let me know, though. The whole club is looking at her. <clears throat> All right, third graders, let's go ahead and get out our Chromebooks for Kahoot. Right after this phone call. <clears throat> Hi, this is Miss Rainbow. Hi, this is Roxy. I saw on the attendance that Raquel was at school and on time today. Yes, we had a field trip this morning, so she did show up on time. Well, it's a good positive step forward. So I spoke to Principal Chavis, and it turns out that mom gave school wrong address, so Raquel does not actually live at the address listed on the student profile. Oh, that's odd. My thoughts as well. How did she get the truancy letter then if the address was incorrect? Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I have no idea then. Yeah, this is all really odd. At this point, if you have any extra time, it doesn't hurt to call mom. Hopefully she answers. I've been trying to get a hold of mom. Everyone's just patiently waiting to get a hold of mom. If you see her, let the office know. So document everything. And maybe it wouldn't hurt to ask Raquel, hey, what time should, um, you know, you call mom. But other than that, that's the only update I have. This okay, rainbow, sounds good. Thank you, Maddox took my Chromebook. Third graders, we have our own Chromebook this numbers. Rainbow. So we should not be arguing who has what Chromebook. Finally, a chance to sit down and lesson plan. <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> this is Miss Rainbow. Hi, this is Principal Chavez. How are you? I'm doing okay. You know, have a lot of stuff to catch up on, but I'm doing okay. How about yourself? I'm fine. Um, I was looking at the call log and it looks like you have not tried calling Raquel's mother in a couple of days. Yes, because in our last meeting, you mentioned that we should be calling parents and leaving positive feedback, so that's what I've been working on all week, is calling parents to leave positive feedback. Okay, great. Um, and also, remember in the meeting, it was discussed to make sure you are also logging all of the parent phone calls, even if they're positive. Yep. Okay, great. If you could call Raquel's mother by Friday, just log in that you are at least trying to call. That way we can show the district and the school that we are all doing everything we can to get a hold of Raquel's mom to get an updated address. That would be great. Okay, will do. Hey, I have to make some copies. I have to make some parent phone calls. I have to look over my data for a small group tomorrow, <laughs> but I should be home by five. All right, I will go ahead and call. I doubt she will answer. Raquel, take your brother into the other room. I am waiting on a really important phone call. This might be it. Hello? Oh, hi. Um, this is Miss Rainbow. How are you? Crap, I shouldn't have answered. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? <clears throat> Nothing. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Um, we have all been trying to get a hold of you to get an updated address. The address should be listed on Raquel's online student profile. Yes, there is an address listed on Raquel's profile, but I was told it was incorrect. So we just wanted to get an updated physical address or make sure something didn't happen that the school was not made aware of. It's not my fault the school doesn't know how to read addresses, but I will be there in a couple of weeks. Oh, well, if you're not living there now, could we get an address of where you're living now and not where you will be in two weeks? Why? I am moving from the address I am at now, and I will be moving to this new address listed. <laughs> Who 
Okay, I am, I did not call to argue. I was just called to, I was just asked to call you to get a physical address, but um, if not, could you call Helen or Principal Chavis or even Roxy and just let them know that you don't want to give an address that way they know. Well, everyone's so worried about it. So I feel like you should be the one to tell them if they're so worried about it. But some things fell through. I should have been there. But he said, <clears throat> I mean, yes, I will be there in a couple of weeks. <sighs> okay. Plus, I got Raquel to school on time the last few days, so I don't know why everyone is still calling and harassing me. I really didn't call to argue. I just called to see if we could get an updated physical address for Raquel. I'm going to make this very simple. Stop calling me. <sighs> Will do. Wow, this is so much fun.